A quick announcement. We told you in November that we were doubling down on Fox News and Fox News on Us. Tonight, we're going to tell you what that means. Starting in April, we'll be launching a regular podcast on Fox Nation. It'll be produced by the same people who make this show and backed by the same company that keeps us on the air. Whatever you may read about Fox News on the Internet, the truth is, and we would know, they are principal defenders of free speech, and they're tough as hell. We wouldn't be here if they weren't. Trust us. Every day there's intense pressure to pull the show off the air, and every day they resist that pressure, and we're grateful for that. We're also grateful for Fox Nation. At a time when the big tech companies have decided to shut down all inconvenient facts and opinions, Fox Nation is protected. It's a subscription service. Big tech can't touch it. It can't be censored, and that's a blessing. We won't only be starting a new podcast, though. One of the first things we're doing on Fox Nation is starting a long-form investigative series called Tucker Carlson Originals. It'll look much more deeply into some of the things we talk about nightly on this show. Here's a trailer. I cannot believe I'm shooting on the Hickok 45 range. They're stealing what we have here in Maine. They're totally full of <laughs> What the f is you? Let's go be dope! I cannot breathe! My concern is my safety, my daughter. We will pass that. They know that. This corridor is more than an energy project. It's an attack the weak against the strong. We're just so delighted you're a gun guy. That was the fun part. We're working on a lot of stories and have been for months. The series will cover a wide range of topics and they will be commercial free on Fox Nation. I hope you'll see them. Two episodes, by the way, are already in production. They investigate the story behind the Green New Deal. So when the power went out in Texas on Monday, we immediately sent our originals team to find out what exactly was happening because we knew it would not be long before the same ideologues who caused this disaster would be online claiming that the Green New Deal, their schemes, had nothing to do with it. And we were right. They started lying within hours. But our team was there, gathering evidence on the ground. This footage which they took is from Big Spring, Texas. As you can see, the wind turbines aren't generating any power because they're not moving. The temperature, by the way, is not even that cold. It's 21 degrees, but they are iced over. No electricity. Our team in Big Spring tells us the hotels nearby have no water, and of course, rolling blackouts are affecting the entire area and much of the state of Texas. Now, why aren't you seeing more footage like this on other media? You know why. Journalists and the politicians they exist to protect are lying to you. They need you to believe that those windmills were a great investment. You paid for them. People already know that they're expensive. People who live near them know they destroy the environment and kill animals huge numbers of animals, but if people knew they'd crash the power grid, maybe they wouldn't put up with it anymore. So they've decided to tell you that these frozen wind turbines aren't really a big deal, not a big deal. Quote, no, the Green New Deal did not cause the Texas power outage, read a piece today in New York Magazine. Right. 